Hi, Champion Trader Kevin Davey here, and today I'm going to look at another chat, GPT strategy. But the cool thing about this one is it gives you an 893% out of sample return. So let's take a look. Okay, so I've done another video where I did a couple strategies with ChatGPT and they didn't come out so good, but I got comments from some people and was thinking more about it and I realized probably some of it was me. I really wasn't giving it good instructions and maybe I just need to ask some smarter questions of it. Okay, so I tried again. And for my third strategy, I said, please provide me trade station code for a profitable mean reversion strategy for 60 minute bars. Okay, and here's what it came back with. Now, as you know, ChatGPT isn't the best at writing code. I mean, it's pretty good, but there are some mistakes. For example, here's three of them that were on this particular strategy. It tried to define the word average as a variable. Well, average in TradeStation is actually a reserved keyword, so you can't define it as a variable. Same thing with standard deviation. So you got to change those, or standard dev is the name. And then down at the bottom, the LR is an order name that gets put on the chart that you can look at. You can't have that more than once. And you can see up in the buy section, it had LR. So you can't have it with sell short. So you had to make these corrections before you even run the code. And after I did that, here's what I came out with. I just put an A in front of average, A in front of standard deviation, and then changed it in the code itself. And then I also changed that order name from LR to SR. So everything's unique, this verifies, and this runs. All right, so we're ready to test. Now, my test setup is with a tool that is called Multi-Opt or Multi-Walk. It was written actually by a student of mine who loved my class and wanted to automate some of the things. So it does a lot of rapid testing. It also does walk forward testing. It's really cool. The problem is it's only available to my students. In any event, I'm able to test 54 different futures markets, six different bar sizes. Now remember, I asked it for a 60 minute bar. I don't think it knows. I think it just gave me something, but I'm gonna test some different bar sizes besides 60 minute and just see what happens. I'm gonna do a 15 year test. It's gonna be a walk forward test, which is out of sample, it gives you out of sample data. And then the last couple of years or so, I'm gonna leave for what I call incubation or monitoring the strategy and also live performance. So all things together, you add it all up. I'm using my trademark strategy factory process to actually develop this system to test it out and see if it works. All right, well, let's look at the results. 38% of all the cases I ran were profitable, which is pretty good in the grand scheme of things. A lot of times you get 10% or less, but 38 is pretty good. And looking at individual results, 29 I would consider on a risk-adjusted basis are what I consider acceptable. Because I always look at risk-adjusted return. I think that's an important figure. It's not just profit. Yeah, profit's important. But if you don't have a good risk-adjusted return, uh, you're probably never going to be able to trade it successfully. And then, looking at my criteria for the strategy factory, there were actually four market slash bar size combinations that actually passed all my criteria. So that's really encouraging uh, from chat GPT. Earlier in my first video, no strategies passed my criteria, but now they do. Here's one of them. This is the mini Dow 240 minute bars. Not bad. Pretty decent looking equity curve. The beginning not so good and there's some significant, I guess, drawdowns. This is all trading one contract 
with slippage and commission. But all things considered, hey, that's pretty good. And assuming you started with two times margin, the margin's eighty-two fifty for the YM. So if you started with sixteen thousand five hundred dollars and traded it that whole time, you'd have almost nine hundred percent out of sample return. That's pretty good. And it, remember, it's out of sample. It's either live, real-time performance, which is about the past year and a little bit, and walk-forward testing, which is a specialized technique, which, when you do it right, gives you out of sample results that are a lot more believable than optimized results. So all things considered, hey, that's, that's pretty good. Now, a lot of you don't do walk forward testing, so here's a comparable version and close to the same results as what I got with walk forward. And this is with having static variables. It's a length of 60, a threshold of two with the code I gave you earlier. It is not the best case from any kind of optimization. It's further down the list if you look at results. It's still one of the better performers, but it's not the best one. So keep that in mind. Uh, and you don't want to pick the best one if you do this approach where you just look at static results over the whole time period. You never want to pick the optimized result. One reason I use walk forward is because you avoid all that and you avoid a lot of that optimization and in sample you know, where you're testing and then evaluating over the same period. That's in, in sample. So, not bad, but you could uh, kind of take that and go play with it if you want. All right, so to kind of wrap up my observations, I'm pleasantly surprised that it could take some code, uh, create some code based off of my question. Yeah, I had to fix it a little bit, but uh, it created a decent system. And... It can create decent code. Um, there's going to be errors with it, so don't expect error-free code. And I'm sure if you did this with Ninja Trader or uh, Trading View or whatever, you're going to get code that has errors in it. So you have to kind of figure that out. And you got to realize a lot of people think, oh, it's just going to give me a great algo. It didn't give me a great algo. I had to test it properly to figure out if it was a good algo or not. Even though I say, give me a profitable strategy over 60 minute bars. Well, one, it didn't give me a 60 minute bar. And two, honestly, it has no idea if that was a profitable strategy or not. I think we like to think, oh, since it gave me something I asked for, that must be true. No. Uh, there's plenty of markets and plenty of bar combinations where this particular strategy would lose money. Let's keep that in mind. Obviously, as part of this, you have to test it for yourself. And that's why having a good test framework is so important. But I love this chat GPT for ideas. Um, and you'll see, I'll keep doing more videos. And we'll see. Maybe you get something, maybe you don't. But maybe you'll think outside your normal box of, Hey, I've got to always have breakout systems. Well, breakout systems can be nice, but sometimes it's nice to test other things. And maybe this tool will help you get some other ideas going. All right, well, if you like this video, first, thanks for watching it. Second, leave a comment. Let me know your experience with ChatGPT. And hit the like button. And if you want me to keep making more videos, I need more subscribers. It's free. Just click. Just click that, and then I'll keep making more videos. All right. I'm JP Trader, Kevin Davey. Have a great day.